Hello there. Today is a very special day. This video is going to be a very special video because when this video comes out, it will actually be Mother's Day. So before I do anything, I just want to say happy, happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all of you mothers, to mothers that still have your mom, um, and to the mamas that still have their children. That sounds kind of funny, but if you followed me for long, you know that Kyle and I lost our son about, it would be eight years ago this year, and he was our only child. So Mother's Day is a little bit different for me the last couple of years, especially because not only do I not have my child, but my mom is gone now. Um, my mom passed away, it'll be two years ago uh, in August. So this is kind of an odd time for me, but you know what? I choose to celebrate, to be happy, because what I can celebrate are all of the wonderful memories that I have with my mom and with our son. And the recipe that I'm gonna share with you was one of my mother's favorites. I even have her recipe card that she, um, it's in her handwriting. I absolutely love this. Um, my mother had such pretty handwriting. But anyways, I have her recipe. Uh, this was kind of like a go-to recipe for her. Very, very simple, very few ingredients. Probably one of the easiest cakes that you will ever make in your lifetime. But Man, you couldn't tell it when you tasted it because it was absolutely delicious. And many of you, especially if you're potluck people, um, you probably have made this cake before or at least you've eaten it. I'm just so excited to just share um, one of my mama's favorite recipes. And also, this was my grandmama's, one of my grandmother's favorite recipes. And my nanny, she was like... Oh my gosh, she was the world to me. And she was kind of like a mama to me. She used to always tell everyone that I was more like a child to her than her grandchild. So this cake, wow, you talk about memories. We are going to go down memory lane today. Well, I should say I am. <laughs> so come on, let's get started and get this cake going. Okay, I've already prepared the cake. That's all that you're going to need. The first thing you need is just a yellow cake mix, and you're going to prepare it just like the directions on the box say. You're going to need three eggs, a third cup of butter, and some water, and you're going to mix that all together and put it in your pan and bake it. Now, you will notice what I did when you see the pan that I'm gonna have my cake in. Um, normally, and like my mom's recipe, it calls for a 13 by nine pan. Okay, well, it's just Kyle and I, remember? We're cooking for two. So I didn't want to have that whole cake. We could eat the whole cake, but we don't need to eat the whole cake. So I split it in half, and I'm actually gonna give the other half to another very special person to me. You can do either way. If you wanna make the full cake, go for it. Put it in a 13 by nine pan. If you don't, you can split it up. And another quick thing I wanna tell you is, if you do split it up, then you can take the second half and you can let that cake cool completely, wrap it in a saran wrap, baggies, you know, just wrap it really well. You can freeze it, and you already have this first step completed when you wanna make another cake. All right, so now let's move on to the next step. You can see this is the pan that I put my cake in, um, and what I'm gonna do is, what I have found is I just take a wooden spoon um, because I like to have a pretty good size hole uh, to poke into the cake. We're going to use this spoon and we're going to poke holes in this. And the reason I like to have a pretty good size hole is because, trust me, you want as much of this goodness as you can get down in this cake. So that's all we're going to do. There's no rhyme or reason to it. You know, you can just sporadically go wherever you want. Um, usually what I try to do is I just kind of make a line down the cake and I just go from there. Um, yeah, I see you sticking, stealing that coconut over there. Um, the cameraman is stealing my coconut. Okay, so that's what I'm doing. I, like I said, I use quite a bit of holes. This is how my mama did it, and her cake was always delicious. So that's what I'm going to do. 
I am making little lines here and we are going to fill them. Now you can see the cake is sticking to the spoon, which that's a really good sign. You know what that means? It's good and moist. Woo, that's a big hole right there. In this little bowl right here, this is our mixture. This is the good stuff right here. What this is, is one can of Eagle Brand milk. And it is, my mom's recipe calls for a can, which, you know, nowadays they have cream of coconut in these little squirt, these squirt bottles. So I don't use a whole one of these. I try to stick to about 15 ounces. This is a 22 ounce, so about 15 ounces. And, but this stuff right here is dangerous to have around because it is so good. You could just squirt this in your mouth. Not saying that I've ever done that, but you could. So that's what you're gonna do. You're gonna do about 15 ounces of the cream of coconut a can of Eagle Brand milk, and you are going to just mix, give that a really good stir, all right? And then I'm gonna pour half of this because remember, I have another cake that I'm working with too. So I'm gonna pour half of this um, in my cake. All right, are we ready? Here it goes. Oh my gosh, this is the good stuff. Okay, make sure you get it in those holes, okay? Because then we can take the top part and kind of smear it around, but we want every one of those holes to get a good bit of this filling. Because see, this is gonna sit, and as it sits, that filling is going to run all through the cake, and it's going to be settling on the bottom, and it, this cake is just going to soak it up like a sponge. Oh my goodness. Okay, I think I probably better stop with this one because I want to make sure I have enough for my other cake. Then you want to just take it, make sure your whole cake is covered in this deliciousness. We have our cake covered and you can see it just welling up in the holes. That right there is pure just mm, deliciousness. The next thing that we're going to do is surprise surprise woohoo we are going to do Cool Whip. Now normally I don't use Cool Whip. I don't hardly use it at all anymore. I like to make my own just whipped topping but there are some recipes, this one included, where you cannot replace this. The consistency, the texture, the way it holds up, it just has to be good old Cool Whip. But I do have a little tip for you that will make this taste more homemade. I have some coconut flavoring. Now, um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take just about, this is pretty strong. So we have the coconut cake, so we want to um, stick with that coconut flavor. We wanna um, bring that flavor out even more. So I'm gonna put about three little drops in the Cool Whip. And then I'm just going to give this a quick little stir. And you might think, well, that's crazy. That is not going to make any difference. But I challenge you that if you've never tried this little trick before, you need to give it a try. Especially if you're a Cool Whip fan, if you use this a lot, it will change your world, okay? Now, you know what? If you don't have coconut, you can always replace it with vanilla. Um, and usually... That's what I'll do. I'll put vanilla in it. You know, the same thing. And if you don't want your vanilla to change the color of your Cool Whip, you can always get the clear vanilla. Okay? Now, this is our cake. So, actually, I'm going to taste this. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. That is so good. Now, again, I'm going to take half of this, and I'm going to put it on this cake. Actually a little bit more than half because my other cake is not quite as big as this one. 
And the main thing that you want to do is, you know, just get a pretty good amount on there. Um, Y'all can probably hear little Mosley. He's pretty excited in here. You can hear his little feet. Um, he's excited about this coconut cake, too. May have to get a little bit more Cool Whip because that needs a little bit more. You want to get a good amount on here. And you don't have to worry too much about making it fancy because we're going to cover it up with the coconut. All right, so spread that out evenly. Okay, and then I just, I know you can't really see it, but I just always go um, and just try to fluff it up a little bit. Now, in my mom's recipe, she didn't add the coconut flavoring to her Cool Whip. That's just a little uh, twist of mine. But um, she would just leave it plain. So if you don't have vanilla or coconut, um, don't worry about it. You just fix it with your Cool Whip, and it is going to be absolutely delicious. Last step is, can you believe it? Last step of this cake. And trust me, when you taste it, you will not think that it was this easy to make. All right, I just have some sweetened coconut here, okay, that I'm gonna sprinkle on the cake. You know, and this, <clears throat> this is kind of just preference. Some people really, really, really like to pile the coconut on. Mama was just kind of in between. Um, you know, definitely you want coconut. This is a coconut cake. Oh, and I almost forgot to tell you what I do is, this is another thing that my mom didn't do, but what I do is I put a little bit of coconut, I would say about a fourth of a cup, in my cake mix. So there's actually coconut in the cake. I like it to be all over the place. You know, like I said, it's in the Cool Whip, it's in the cake, and now we have it on top. So that's it. This is about all I'm going to do. You know, if you wanted to toast your coconut, let it cool really well, you know, good, then you could toast your coconut if you wanted to. That would be really pretty. Um, but this is just how my mama made it. So that's, this is it. I mean, like, we are done. Um, I think it would be pretty to put a couple of strawberries or maybe some raspberries in the middle just to make it look good. Um, but this was mama's recipe. And what you do is you're going to take this and you're going to let it sit. It's you definitely, after you put the Cool Whip on it, it needs to go in the refrigerator. But this is a cake that if you can make it like early in the day and let it sit till maybe supper time or whenever you're going to eat it, if you can let that cake soak in all that goodness, it's just even better. You'll, you'll see like the next day it's good and then the next day it's even better if it lasts that long that's what i wanted to share with you today if you are not following me on my blog you can do that by just going to cookitfor2.com that's cookitfortwo.com that's my website you have access to my blog there. There's recipes. I actually have my first cookbook there. So you can um, go there and shop. And also, you can find me on YouTube. Just head to YouTube, subscribe to my channel, make sure you click that bell so you won't miss a video. That will notify you every time a new video comes out. And you can also find me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. So I'm all over the place. Search me out. Find me. Follow me. Comment. Give me some ideas. Give me some feedback. I would love to hear from you. And please share some recipes of you with your mom. Maybe something that y'all made together. Or maybe it was just something that she made that was your favorite. Like when you think of it or you smell that smell, it takes you right back to the kitchen of your mama and her in there cooking um, gosh, whew, that brings back so many memories. My mother was definitely a cooker. She loved to cook. She loved to bake. She loved entertaining. My mom's name was Laureen, which that's a really cool name, I think. Um, you don't hear that all the time. I'm going to wrap it up, but I did want to share this special recipe with you. And also, I just want to encourage you, if you're fortunate enough to still have your mom, and your kiddos, love on them.
hug them, tell them that you love them, and make as many memories together as you can. And if you don't, then you hang on to those memories that you have and you celebrate yourself and your mom and your kids today, every day, but especially today. Happy Mother's Day. Lord bless you.